Well, we're back out in Chad's garage for another video. <laughs> this time it's a little bit different. It's still with the YFZ, but uh, this time we're doing a little project where we're we're taking off the decal kit that was on it and we're gonna put on a, a new one or a, come up with a new look. So I've been spending some time tearing off the plastic, um, trying to re, um, re-support the tabs and stuff that may be cracked or broken. You know, uh, with a hill climbing bike, you run into that all the time. As you can see, all the imperfections in the fenders, all the stress cracks, uh, or not necessarily cracks, but marks, basically all over this thing. And uh, why I had it apart, I was just trying to clean up the electrical stuff up underneath the front end here. And I don't know, you know, just kind of tinkering around, taking a little bit of time. It's the hotter month, so it's not the most fun time to ride with the heat. But, uh, so that's what we've been doing. Um, we've got, <clears throat> we've got a couple products here that I got to, to try to take off the old sticker residue. And, uh, this Surface Prep 77, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, it's junk. <laughs> it does not work for this. Um, I've used this Goo, Goo Gone, um, spray gel. It doesn't work bad. I mean, it will take the adhesive off, but you kind of got to let it set for a little while. And then I've just been wiping it off with like a rag. But uh, I would say if you got a project similar to this, this is probably going to be your best bet. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've I've used this. Uh, this is supposed to be a non-scratch pad. I've used this a little bit. I think it does kind of scratch it, but I really don't care. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I've tried some Uni Filter. Um, the, the, the spray that I used to take break down that grease, I tried a little bit of that. That worked pretty good. Uh... Obviously, I cleaned them all with soap and water first. Um, and then, obviously, now these days with the whole COVID stuff going on, you can't get alcohol anywhere. Um, rubbing alcohol to, like, prep, prep the fenders and get them ready. Stuff is going for crazy prices online. But uh, we'll, we'll figure out something there. But uh, while I had this apart, <clears throat> or while I've been taking off some of these fenders and such, I've been trying to rebuild these tabs back up. As you can see here, this one was broke. So I tried to rebuild it back up with some epoxy, Loctite epoxy. I doubt it'll hold, honestly, especially in this spot, but it seems like it's felt held on there pretty good. And then you can see over here, this is the underside of the front fenders. I built these up a little bit with some epoxy stuff. See this one, I can tell already it's not gonna, it won't hold up much, but I just tried to add some some different uh, epoxy there to act kind of a, a gusset or help. These weren't broken, but like this one here, you can see that it's already kind of flexing a little bit. And then this one, the top was broke off, so I took a took some of that glue and then I put on uh, cut off pieces of tie wraps and used that plastic to help. You know, if it don't hold up, I'll tie wrap it. <laughs> but uh, those are a couple things that I was trying. I have a, another set of plastics. I have another set of plastics over here that I bought. Same thing, the, uh, these were kind of, they were getting kind of weak, so I just added a little bit of glue there to help st strengthen those up, to keep those from uh, going ahead and breaking. So <clears throat> right now I'm just, I'm basically trying to get all the, the old decal residue off um, while I try to clean up the bike just a little bit. It's not 100% cleaned up, but I mean, just trying to get all this stuff, uh, you know, cleaned up. And the, the fenders, I got the old decal kits off and then getting the surface ready for the new ones. Now, with this new decal kit I get got, <clears throat> I have to fill this in with something. And same thing up here. I have to fill this in because the decal like rolls, right, lays right across here. So what I, my plan to do there is I bought a bunch of 3M little squares or rectangles and I'm gonna build those up in here to kind of fill up this space. And uh, I'm hopeful that'll work. It's double-sided tape. I can show you what they look like. So basically um, these type of things, there's just a bunch of different shapes. And I plan just to come in here and to add those as I need them. You know, one on top of the next one. Just to fill it up. No big deal. They told me you could actually force the graphic down inside that area, but I'm not doing that. 
Uh, those graphics are a pain in the butt already as they are. Uh, well, let's take a look at the graphics. This is just a sneak peek. So, yeah, you can kind of see what's going on there. So, I got a, I got quite the project ahead of me to get those things on. If you've never put those on, they're very, very um, challenging or uh, frustrating if you don't have patience. They look kind of cool when you get them on there, but it's pretty daggone frustrating uh, as you go through the process. But uh, we're going to see how this all turns out. But there's some uh, decal kits here that I'm going to try to put on this bike. Give you a little idea what this could look like on the bike. So, you know, you kind of get the gist of it. So we'll see how it turns out. Just time for something a little bit different. The other decal kit was still in pretty good shape. It just... There's a few rips and stuff right around where my boots hit, which I don't know if it was the boots that I had before, but it really scratches up the plastic and stuff in this area, both sides, which to me doesn't really matter. But I mean, anytime you're doing this stuff, you know stuff's gonna get damaged, it ain't gonna last, it ain't a show bike. But it is cool to have your bike be a little different from everybody else's. And you know what? If you want to do something like that and that's what makes you happy, do it. And uh, I kind of like doing that. So, But anyways, that's a little bit of uh, kind of where we're at. Um, what are we? Here in the middle of, not quite the middle of July. It's just hot. In Ohio, it's hot. It's horrible to ride in this type of weather. The uh, mosquitoes and the deer fly, they just they chew you up. So... Uh, you know, I'm just going to try to do something a little bit different this year. Um, I got a new set of chains coming. Need to refresh in my chains. These ones are three years old. They're getting, they're getting pretty uh, wore down on the one end. And uh, so I went ahead and got a set of those. So I'll have those as a backup set. But uh, it looks different seeing it as blue. Uh, I was playing around with some different... I have an extra set of white plastics and I was putting some of those on there and mixing and matching. And it's, it's funny how something like that changes the look of the bike so much. But uh, it's going to look a little different uh, when, we, when we get it all turned over to the new graphics. Well guys, you just saw the reveal of this bike. Uh, same bike, different different look. Just wanna talk real quickly about what we did. 
we added some different states here that uh, we'd like to represent with Hill Climb USA. Get the custom decal kit and the USA theme. Got the Hill Climb USA here. Got my number, number five for the win. You know, my name. We've got new ODI grips on here. We got a new Pro Taper USA uh, bar pad. And we've got the Hill Climb USA YouTube here on the back. And basically all the different vendors that basically are on this bike uh, or is in some of my riding gear or whatever it may be. So this is just a quick shout out uh, to uh, my daughter who helped me install this and had the patience with me. And, uh, you know, to <laughs> uh, just being able to deal with this. I mean, if you've never done one of these, I'm sorry. Some people say it's not that bad. This is not easy to do. So um, she was a trooper in, all, in that. And, hey, you know what? It's done. It looks decent. And that's what I'm, I'm happy about. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. See you on the hills.